Well, hello there. Come on in. I'm Chris Brown. I'm your humble chimney sweep. I was just going over your chimney inspection report, but now that you're here, make yourself comfortable. Let's go over it together, shall we? Okay, now let's take a look at the inspection report and see how it reads out. This is a generic report. This is exactly what you will get, only your information obviously will be filled into all these blanks. The upper right hand corner of the report is the legend. Each one of these initials pertain to something. A is consistent with the age of the chimney. B, C comments below. C, repairs needed. D, need further evaluation or E, not applicable. And they're placed into the boxes next to the parts of the chimney that can be easily identified in this diagram. And then of course you'll find my comments here below. Now let's take a look at your particular, your personal report. So stay with me. Hey Tracy, it was great to see you today. What a beautiful house. Uh, great location too, by the way. Let's just go right up on top. So all three chimneys are, are capped. They're prefab fireplaces, right? Which, you know, when you say prefab, that just means that the, um, the fireplaces were assembled on the job site. They're built someplace else and assembled on the job site. They're UL listed, which means they're generally just perfect usually operate in just a perfect manner and uh, these all have the standard uh, chase top cap up here and chimney cap and um, I think the the um, uh, whole house inspector on this uh, first chimney here said there might have been he might have spotted a loose brick somewhere I looked it over pretty good I didn't see any so maybe need a little clarification from him on that Anyway, this is just another view, and um, uh, flashing looks good. The chimneys all have the uh, proper crickets back here. These crickets divert the water around the chimney, so it's important to have. Let's take a look at the living room. So we have a, a working a vented gas log set. These are all remote controlled and also have a toggle switch here that you can also activate them with. Uh, they all have blocks in them, which is perfect. That's uh, code required for these types of gas logs. This is the living room fireplace. We found a, a little missing mortar here with a hearth, which is the floor of a fireplace, and the hearth extension, which is the hearth that extends into the room. There's a little missing mortar here. Now, with these particular gas logs, it's a non-issue. Here's what the deal is. If uh, you were burning wood in there and you got some hot ashes down in there, you're not quite certain what's down below in there. Could be a wood beam. So, but in this case, there are no hot ashes. You're burning gas. It's a non-issue. But I just wanted to point it out to you. Uh, just in case somebody else pointed it out to you, it's a non-issue. Flu system looks great. No problems with that. Let's move on. Uh, Din fireplace. Again, vented gas logs remote and switch again nice block uh, there flu system looks good no problems with that uh, outdoor feature open wood burner so it is a wood burner it has a working gas log lighter right and the uh, key is uh, for that is way around the other side we tested it's working uh, no damper you don't need a damper on an outside feature reason you don't need a damper is all that does is block the heat and air conditioning from a house fireplace from venting up the chimney. Of course, this is completely to the outside, so it's a non-issue. Flu system looks great. Folks, have uh, any questions for me at all, give me a call, 704-526-6348. You can always email me at chris at affordablesweep.com. Thank you.